Hello, so welcome to lesson 11 in our study of the Python programming language. We are still learning the basics of the Python programming language, okay? So in this video, we're talking about functions. Functions. You know, functions are the essential part of programming, right? And it always takes an input and it returns out an output, okay? Right. And sometimes it doesn't take an input though, but when you run it, it does something for you. But it mostly takes an input and returns an output, okay? So functions are the essential part of programming. You might have seen some built-in functions in Python already. So for instance, print is already a built-in function in Python, all right? So when you, sh you should say print and you put a string or something inside, it does something. And it's a built-in function which was created by someone. So here we are going to decide to take a look at how we can write functions on our own and how to call them. So sometimes we might need functions to do certain things, but they are not built in in Python. So that means we'll have to create them ourselves. And that is what we are going to learn how to do. So the first thing you have to take note is that functions in Python are declared with the keyword dev. That means before you can let Python know you're about creating a function. The keyword dev, D-E-F, in small case, is very, very important. You always have to start it with that. Okay, so we are going to create some few functions in Python. Okay, all right. So this first function that we are creating, so a function to add two numbers. Okay, all right. So you can see that I first began with what D-E-F. So after beginning with D-E-F, the next thing should be your function name so my function name is add right then do you want your function to take any parameters yes i want it to take two parameters a and b right then i end it with what a colon so after taking the a and b it should just return a plus b so you should call when i call the function add because that's the function name and i gave it the two parameters six for a eight for b it will just return what the sum of the two six plus eight which is 14 and I do 9 plus 67, which is 76. So that means I've been able to create a function on my own in Python called add. And it adds to what? Numbers. Is that not fantastic? So maybe let's create another another function. So I'm coming to create another function, okay? So maybe the function I'm coming to create is called it's okay and this my function i'm not going to give it any um, parameter so i want you to know that it's not always that we pass parameters to our function you see the other one it was having two parameters a b sometimes we can pass a b c d and the rest but sometimes we can decide not to pass any parameter to it so with this one, i'm not going to pass any parameter to it and what you should do is that there is a list called Maybe let me have a list of some fruits. So I have a list of these fruits, right? So So what I want the function to do is that if the function is being called, it should just print all the elements in this list, apples, oranges, banana, and cherry. So if I should call this function, no, it doesn't take any parameter. It just print them for me, apple, oranges, banana, cherry. So this is another way we can create functions. It is very simple, right? So here, too, I'm going to create a function to find a combination of two numbers. So for instance, when you go to the math model in Python, you realize that we have a function to find the factorial in the math model, but we don't have a function to find the combination. So we can write a function to find the combination of two numbers on our own. And that's how we can do that. I think I wrote that here. All right. So. Let me increase the font size 
So light can be seen by all. So I always have to begin with a keyword def. Right? The function name is com. It takes two arguments. I'm calling them x and y. Right? So after taking the x and y, you know you find a combination of two numbers. N combination R is what? N factorial over R factorial times N minus R factorial, right? So this is going to be the N minus R, right? So A is equal to X minus Y. Then I import the math model because I'm going to use the factorial function and that is found in the math model, right? And I'm importing it as Randolph. Remember, we talked about the as. We said it is alias, right? Uh -huh. So that means that my N factorial is going to be Randolph dot factorial of x, and I'm storing that in a variable called x1. And this will be for r factorial, right? And this will be for n minus r factorial. So that means that the combination will just be x1 over x1, which is n factorial over e1 times y1, which is r factorial times n minus r factorial. And if I should, if I finish, I should print it. So I'll print s combination y is the result, right? So let me run this code for you to see what it does. So combination of, let's say I'm finding a combination of 5 and 2. So it takes two arguments, right? So 5 and 2. So it will tell me 5 combination 2 is 10. Is that not true? It's true. Let me find a combination of, let's say, 10 and 2. So to determine the combination of 10 and 2 is 45. So it's can kind of find a combination of any number that you can think of. Okay, all right. No. So that's how you can create a function. I think I have a last example here, right? You see, try to write a function in Python to do the following. To find the LCM of two numbers and to find the permutation of two numbers. You know, the permutation one should be very simple because we just did for combination. You just have to change one or two things to make it permutation. And the LCM2 is very simple, right? So the last thing we are going to do is a function to interpret CWA. Okay. Right. I think I have the code here. So dev, right? CWA. So that means the dev is the keyword. CWA is a function name. And it takes one parameter called C. So when you take that parameter, it makes it a floating number. And then it does these conditional things on it, which we've already discussed in one of our videos, okay? So you can take a look at the code. It's very simple to understand. So it means that when you call the function CWA, it takes your CWA and interprets it for you. So let me call it for you to see. So CWA of, let's say my CWA is 45.90. So see what it tells me, pass. That's the interpretation of my CW. Let's say it is 78.19. It will tell you, you must be proud of yourself, first class body. It, it interprets it for you. Maybe I say CW is 567. It tells you that, hey, but the CW can do more than 100 in the rest. Okay, so that's how we create functions. And they are very cool. And you can create functions for a whole lot of things in Python, okay? And the parameters can be a tuple, it can be a dictionary, and a whole lot, okay? So try to explore more. So in our next video, we'll talk about file handling in Python, right? So how to create test files and do some appending, some writing, and the rest of it. So thank you very much, and see you in the next video.